Hello everyone, today I will be discussing revenue and expense journal entries and income statement, and I'd like to begin this discussion with a few accounting concepts. First, revenues minus expenses equals net income. This is our basic income statement equation. Next, regarding revenue and expense journal entries, revenues are always recorded with the credit and expenses are always recorded with the debt. And now this one's a little trickier. Revenues are recognized when they are earned. Now this means that in revenues are recognized when the service is performed or the good is sold, regardless of when cash is received for it. These cash can be received before or after or at the same time. But regardless of when the cash is received, the revenue is recognized when the service is performed or the good is sold and expenses are recognized when they are incurred. This functions the same way regardless of when cash is paid for the expense, it's recognized when it's incurred. So now I'd like to show a few journal entries that demonstrate these concepts. First, providing services for cash. So in this journal entry, cash is received, so cash is debited, and I'm going to say it's for $10,000. And then the services were provided, so that means they've already been provided, the revenue is earned, so sales revenue would get the credit because the revenue is already earned. Now in the next journal entry, it's going to be receiving cash for future services. So the revenues have not yet been earned because the services have not yet been performed, although we have received cash only. So cash will get debited, and we're going to say $2,000 here. So cash got debited means we received cash, but the services were not yet performed, so the revenues are not earned, so they go into an account called unearned revenue. Maybe $2,000 there. So now the next journal entry I'd like to show is providing services on credit. Now this means that the services have already been provided, but we have not yet received cash for them. So we debit accounts receivable. And we're going to say $1,000 here. And then since the revenue, the service has already been provided, the revenue has been earned. So we say sales revenue. Because we already provided the service, although we have not received cash for it yet. Now the next entry I'd like to show is receiving payment on account. So now, oh, I spelled receivable wrong here, excuse me. There we go. So now receiving payment on an account. So this means that we're being paid for an account receivable for a service we performed in the past. So we're receiving cash. And I'm going to say $500 here for cash. And then we credit our accounts receivable, since we're receiving payments on the accounts receivable, of $500. Now the next entry I'd like to show is paying cash in advance of the expense. So here we're going to say it was insurance that we bought ahead of time before the expense was incurred with cash. So we debit prepaid insurance. And the expense has not yet been incurred, that's why it's prepaid. And we're going to say $2,000 here we purchased a prepaid insurance. And we used cash to purchase it, so cash will get credited with $2,000. And now the next journal entry I'd like to show is incurring a cost to be paid later. So here, we're going to say we incurred a utilities expense and we're going to pay it later. So we incurred it in one period and we're going to pay it in a later period. So since the expense has already been incurred, we debit utilities expense. Please remember expenses are recognized when they are incurred. And we're going to say $500 here. And then we, debit, we credit accounts payable. These are accounts payable increases. And now the next journal entry I'd like to show is paying cash for an expense. 
So this is when the expense is incurred and cash is paid at the same time. So we're going to say it was an advertising expense. And we're going to say it was for $1,000. And cash is paid at the same time. So the expense is incurred and cash is paid. And now that is it for the journal entries I'd like to show. So now I'd like to prepare an income statement using our basic income statement equation of revenues minus expenses equals net income. Now on the income statement, revenues always come before expenses. So we list all the revenues that were recognized in the period, which would be the $10,000 receiver, the one for which cash was received at the same time. We would not recognize this revenue since it was unearned, we received cash before the service was provided. And since the service was not yet provided, the revenue was not recognized on the income statement. So we do not recognize this one for this period's income statement. But we do recognize this one where we have not yet received the cash for the service was performed. These revenues are recognized when the service is performed. So that means we recognize here and here for a total of $11,000 of sales revenue. Oh, sorry about that. The $11,000. That means total revenues are equal to $11,000. Now for expenses, we're only going to recognize the expenses that were incurred in this period. So here we have the prepaid insurance that was not incurred in this period. We prepaid it, which means it's going to be incurred in future periods. So although we paid out cash for it, since the expense is not incurred, it's not recognized for this period. Now the utilities expense will be, because the expense is incurred, and although we have not been paid for it, expenses are recognized when they are incurred. So this will be recognized, despite the fact that we haven't paid for it. And then the advertising expense where we paid cash at the same time it was incurred will also be uh, recognized this period, because the expense is incurred and we've already paid cash for it. But the fact that we paid cash for it already is not relevant here. All that's relevant is that the expense is already incurred. So we have utilities expense of $500 for this period. And we have advertising expense of $1,000 for this period that got recognized because these were the expenses that were incurred in this period. And that makes our total expenses $1,500. And now revenues minus expenses equals net income. So 11,000 minus 1,500 will equal 9,500, and that is our net income for this period. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys next time.